Cynthia Calvillo and Lupi Godinez go to a decision. And a really good fight this was. I mean, Cynthia Calvillo well over, well, just over 100 significant strikes. She had 105 compared to 91 for Lupi, who led most of the way in terms of that category. Uh, but also Calvillo had a, a takedown over a minute of control time. So the way this pl uh, fight played out is round one was really close. I mean, Lupi led in significant strikes, but Calvillo had the takedown. Then Calvillo led the second and third rounds in significant strikes, right? Neither fighter had takedowns. So it was a, uh, both fighters were stand up and striking uh, in rounds two and three. So Cynthia Calvillo got the better of that too. So we'll see how this plays out here as both fighters are coming together. And what is waiting on the decision right now? But again, Calvillo led in significant strikes after round one, had to take down, and we'll see. 29-28 Calvillo. Oh, gosh, here we go, split decision. Come on. Godinez gets one judge. Oh, my gosh. Come on, don't do it. Give it to Calvillo. Oh, come on, man. Lupi Godinez gets the win. And a 30 to 27 on the final judge. Oh, get out of here. Calvillo definitely won round three. It wasn't even close. But you could make the case that Lupi could win two rounds here. It's very possible, and she did. It, you know, but it could have gone either way, really, in this fight. But Lupi is going to move to nine and three, and another tough loss for Calvillo after that nine and one start in her professional career. She's down to nine and six, and uh, what I believe is five straight losses at this point in time so rough outing for her but lupi godinez gets to win women's strawweight division ufc 287.